The Bible says, Wilt thou also disannul my judgment? Wilt thou condemn me, that thou mayest be righteous? Job was a great man, a far greater man than you or I will probably ever be. But Job had one problem. Job was self-righteous. And as Job begins to pour out his complaint, he begins to justify himself rather than God. And Job's self-righteousness begins to come to the surface. And as the Lord lays out these questions to him and begins to reprove him in chapters 38, 39, 40, and 41, God is showing Job like he's showing us that I am right and you are wrong. That you can never be righteous without me. And God says, Wilt thou also disannul my judgment? Wilt thou condemn me that thou mayest be righteous? Will you question God, accuse God, doubt God, pull God down to raise yourself up? Jesus Christ would tell that Pharisaical audience, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men. But God knoweth your hearts. God knows if you want to justify him and magnify his righteousness, or whether you're trying to justify yourself and magnify your own self-righteousness, which really is just filthy rags. What about you today? If you're not saved today, your biggest problem is probably your self-righteousness. You want to magnify your self-righteousness higher than the righteousness of God. But the Bible says righteousness delivereth from death. You need God's righteousness imputed to you as a gift in order to be saved. And if you are saved and you go through your own trials and you go through your own heartaches and you go through your own troubles, much like Job, who was a good man, are you going to justify yourself in your problems? Are you going to magnify your righteousness in your difficulties? Will you disannul God's judgments and condemn him that you might be lifted up? I hope not, my friend. I hope you always come back to that simple supposition Paul begins the book of Romans with. Let God be true. God is right, even when we don't understand it. And you and I are always wrong when we question him.